Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Jasmine Walters and I am the CEO and founder of Serenity & Vine Co, a home decor brand located in Jacksonville, Florida. And my prime product at the moment are my wooden wick coconut soy tin candles. All little tin right here, as you can see. And this video, I am going to show you how to trim a wooden wick. So once you start to decide that you want to make candles or you decide you want to go ahead and do a DIY project or you just simply decide, hey, wooden wicks are the wicks that I want to use for my candle, you're going to want to have a tool that helps you trim the wicks because it can be a little bit difficult to just um, trim them by breaking them off. Um, you would be surprised, I've seen that before. And um, you just want a tool that's going to give you a little bit more ease and help you work smarter and not harder. So the wick trimmer that I am using is just a simple stainless steel wick trimmer that I got off of Amazon. And there we go. So yes, I got this off of Amazon. It was about $12. Um, I've had this for about a year and it really does get the job done, especially since my wicks are very small. I don't use jumbo wooden wicks. I just use, you know, the 0.5 wooden wicks from Macy. And um, just the description of this on Amazon is, it's a light candle wick trimmer candle wick cutter, stainless steel wick, and it comes in black, but you can get it in rose gold, you can get it in gold, you can get it in silver, especially if you're somebody who likes things to match your brand. Um, you can go ahead and get it in the color of your brand. And so about this item, it's a perfect accessory for any candle lover. Um, it's easy, it easily clips the wicks even at the bottom and it's crafted to effortlessly trim any wick to length as your wish. Precise cut ensures a cleaner, safer burning candle, which is what we want. We want a safe burn. And once cut, trimmings are collected in a built-in debris tray for easy disposal. So the wick that you cut off, you'll see in this video, you can always save those, um, but they are um, good for disposal or you can put them in a bonfire. You can do whatever you need to do with those, but we are gonna go ahead and cut these bad boys. So this is cut number one and I tried to do it about right here. just so you have a little bit of space. So when you do that first burn of your candle, it's not right there on the wax line. It's more above there, one of the candles. So this is gonna be number two. And notice the imperfections of this candle. If you are very nitpicky, um, I am nitpicky about my candles. I just go back in there with a um, heat gun and just even those candles out. Number three. So that's all I have for this video. If you don't have a wick trimmer, you can always use scissors, but you do want something that has a little bit of a curve. So once your candle starts burning lower and your wick starts getting lower, you can really get down in those nitty gritty parts of your candle so you have a safe burn. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up so we can reach a ton of more makers and a ton of more candle business owners and please subscribe to the channel if you like this content and go ahead and comment down below your business your brand if you are a DIYer or if you're somebody who is thinking about getting into the candle making journey business 
anything. Go ahead and do that and I will see you on the next video. Bye.